Hi everyone, this is an algebra problem and you will uh, most likely have one on the proficiency exam, power number 216, a student store sold a total of 55 shirts for $620. The shirts sold were either red or white. The red shirt sold for $12 each and the white sold for $10 each. How many of each color of shirts were sold? All right. Well, how should we start? You can either go back to your, uh, I mean, you can check your options here and verify, you know, by using the 12 and 10 that if you multiply each one of them by uh, 12 and 10, if you add them up, you get 60, 620. That's one way. What, about, what do I mean by that? So basically, go here and say, one red sold for what? 12. So multiply this one by 12. Every red by 12. By 12. By 12 and every um, white, right? And then it's black here. By 10. Times 10. Times 10. Times 10. And what do you have? Well, here I get 240. And 350. Well, add them up. If you add them up, what do you get? Is that 620? No, not good. Move on to the next one. 27, 27 times 12. Well, what is an easy way to multiply that? Well, you can take it separately and just find what is that? 27 times 12, right? 2 times 27 is what? 54. And I have 27, add them up, 4, 2, 324. And you get here 324. And 28 times 10 is 280. If you add them, you're not going to get 620. So not good. Move on to the next one. 28 times 12. 28 times 12. How can you find that very quick? Well, I have 27 times 12, which was what? 324. We'll just add another 12 to it. So that will be 336. And I have 336. 27 times 10 is 270. Obviously, if you add them, you're not, gonna, you're not, you're not going to get 620. Not good. Well, this one better be the right answer. But you can check what is 35 times 12. An easy way is double that 35 because 12 is what? 2 times 6. So I can multiply by 2 first. 2 times 35 is what? 70. And multiply 70 by 6. So you get 420. And 20 times 10 is 200. Add them up. What is that? That's 620. This is good. This is the answer you are done. Okay, now that's one way. What is another way? Well, the algebraic way that you guys learn, learned in your algebra one classes or in your math class in seven says, well, write an equation. And we're going to establish that the number of red, number of red shirts will be what? Well, odd. I don't know. The number of white shirts I will make it W. How many of them I have? I have 55. Well, that, that gives me the first equation. R plus W equals 55. What else do I know? Well, I know that you know the money I'm making by selling R I mean, by, by selling the red shirts, where the cost is $12. So to find the total amount of money I'm making by selling R for my red shirts, I'm just multiplying 12 times R, right? And here, because the white shirts sell for 10 bucks each, I will multiply 10 times their, their number, okay? And that's your second equation. I have 12R plus 10W. And that should give me what? 620. 
that's your system of equations. And obviously, you can solve them, solve it in different ways. First of all, second equation, you may simplify it, right? Each one of these numbers are divisible by 2. As your first equation doesn't change, r plus w equals b3, 5. The second one becomes 6r plus 5w equals 310. And there are many ways to solve it, whichever way you like. You can multiply the top one by what? By, let's say, negative 6. I'm trying to get a negative 6 here, so r will be eliminated, right? First equation becomes negative 6r minus 6w equals negative 6 times 55 is going to be what? Negative 5 times 6, 0, 5 times, I mean 30, 5 times 5, uh, 5 times 6, 30, you have 33, right? So it will be negative 330. Now add them up. 6r minus 6r, nothing. 5w minus 6w would be negative 6w equals negative 1. 310 minus 330 will be negative 20. This is tell you that the number of white shirts, w equals 20. And you are done. You don't have to find r because r def better be 35. And that's why you get the same answer, solving the problem in a different way. Well, whichever you like, okay? As long as you're getting the right answer, nobody can blame you. Blame you. Nobody can take those points from you, regardless in whichever way you have solved that problem during the proficiency exam. Do it your way, but pay attention and make sure you're doing it right. That's all I can tell you guys. Good luck.